hello guys and welcome if you are new please subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on such great content in today's video we are going to talk about visual studio code for python programming vs code is a is an elegant editor which supports so many programming languages including python java c -Ash, c++ and so much more in fact, I think it supports almost all major programming languages. Now our focus today is how to write Python code in VS Code. Now, if you haven't installed already, please try it out. Go to code.visualstudio.com slash download and, and go ahead and download your respective uh, file or installer for Windows, for Linux, and also for Mac. I've installed mine, and also I've uh, I am using Mac, so I've installed the Apple Silicon Mac version. If you're using Intel, please download the respective file. Now, having installed, if you have already installed, go ahead and open it and. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to install the Python extension or if you the or if you don't first of all let's try and create a project folder try and open a create open or create project folder so command o on mac or rather go to file and then open folder or open whichever same so once we are here, I want it to be here, so I will call it, let me call it a folder, let me call it a sample, sample, uh, yes, let's just call it sample and open it. So you can go to the sidebar extensions icon and search for Python, or if you try and create a Python file, for example, here. VS Code will ask you whether you want to install those uh, extensions, in which case you will accept the recommended extensions and they will be automatically installed. Otherwise, go to sidebar extensions icon, search for Python, and you will realize that in my case it is installed so you will go ahead and install this extension by microsoft offered by microsoft install it and two other extensions will be automatically installed and they are pylance and python debugger which will support the python extension file for writing python files or python code having done that the next thing that you will do is in Python the best way if you are creating an application that uses a library for example NumPy say import uh, import NumPy NumPy of course it's not installed as yet um, array is equals to NumPy that's array one two three now numpy is not installed already we need to install it we need to install the library and the best way to install a library in python is by creating a virtual environment a virtual environment is simply a complete isolated environment which is complete with python interpreter and which you can install libraries that you may wish but which will not conflict with the overall uh, global interpreter because the global interpreter will be installed on the global system but your python interpreter will be installed in a, in a file or in a folder within your project and this will enable you to 
to use uh, different libraries with different versions in different projects and that is really nice and interesting you will not be limited now to do that press ctrl shift p on mac ctrl shift p on windows command shift p on mac and then python and then the option will be to create environment so full colon and then create environment so we are creating a virtual environment we'll just accept the first version the first option and then the the first version also of of, uh, of the python if you have different versions of python you'll be given all the three and you will have to select which python version you want to use i'll want to use the first one press enter So perfect, the virtual environment has been created. And uh, let's, let's uh, we need to open the terminal. For simplicity, we just come here, new terminal. And then we need to install NumPy. So as always, pip install library name. And this NumPy library will be installed in our virtual environment. That means it will be installed in our project only and we will use it in our project only. You can see the warning has gone and we can now run and see. Yes, so it is working as expected expected let's see perfect so that's it guys that's been it that is how to write code in vs code python code specifically uh if you are new please subscribe and also click the notification bell i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye